Canadian intelligence has one of the weakest oversight frameworks out of any Western intelligence agency in the world. Uh, and when they're trying to expand their powers, you know, it's, it's pretty amazing that we have the Canadian government trying to block the testimony of former prime ministers, you know, who've had access to classified information, who understand the value of these programs, and who are warning, you know, the public broadly and saying, this is something we really need to talk about. This is something we really need to debate. This is something we really need to be careful about. And yet, these policymakers, you know, these analysts, these uh, all of these people who are, who are trying to debate the value of these programs, they have no access to the facts. You know, they, they can point to newspaper articles, which are, are, are great uh, material, great references, but you ultimately need to go to documents. You need to be able to confront the government and say, well, you say this is not the case, but we have a document here with your agency's logo on it saying that information about Canadians is being connected or collected in Canada on a mass and untargeted basis. At the same time you're doing this, you're saying you want to expand the ways this information can be used. You want to expand who can be targeted within these data sets. You want to expand who can be detained. Uh, and these are necessarily conversations of public interest. Uh, they need to be uh, decided, uh, debated, and the decisions ultimately determined not just by representatives uh, of the public, not just by elected officials, although they clearly have an important role, but by the people who ultimately have to live with these programs and under their scrutiny. And that's the people in this room, uh, that's the people in universities across the country, and that's average people going about their daily lives who don't want to have to deal uh, with getting down into you know, the minutia of political movements, uh, political motions, uh, these sort of policy debates, they just want to be able to look at what they want to do in their lives and pursue that in a free and fair way. And that can only happen in liberal societies if we have liberal access to the facts.